Now, I was debating if I should make this video or not, because for the men watching this, this is going to change your whole view on the way you see women, the way you're attracted to a woman. It is going to kill all your dreams, all your fantasies on women do not poop. They digest their food. It goes all the way down. And when it's time after that morning coffee, they fart butterflies. That's how the food gets out of the system. I hate to break it to you, but that is false. You have been living a fantasy. And this story is too good for me not to talk about, about this woman who took a 28 perfect shaped, per perfect girt, perfect length shit. Now, if you're a woman and you're watching this video, it will just guarantee you, you'll never turn into a lesbian. And if you're a man watching, there's a very, very high possibility by the end of the video, you're going to like dicks. You're going to lose all your attraction to women and you're going to be gay by the end of the video. Very high possibility. It all started by this man yesterday. He decided to take it to the internet and share this amazing masterpiece with us. This person is a realtor. Well, to be exact, an ex-realtor now after he got fired of posting, spoiler alert, his boss's 28-inch shit. Today, I got fired. Um, from my job, I'm a real estate agent and I got fired because uh, something that I post in Instagram and they called me to the office and they asked me to remove everything, which I did. And after I removed the post uh, and the picture that I put, I was told that I no longer work in uh, for the company. And all this is because of my manager, Monica, and she's the one that created all these shitty a scenario she's the one that pushed for me to lose my job and today i'm outside my house because i don't have the balls to see my wife and tell her what happened you know and i had kids and i'm going to tell you the whole story and i'm going to show you the picture that i put in instagram because you need to see that to understand how severe was the problem that we have and Everything has started uh, yesterday that we have an open house. Now, God knows how bad, how much I want to show you this absolute masterpiece. And uh, during our time on this planet, me and you, we have seen we we have seen some amazing things done by talented people. We've seen people walk the moon. We've seen people swallowing food. We've seen Johnny Sins's wife getting that 16 inch cucumber up, up her butt. But all of that don't mean anything after I've seen that picture. That person needs to get a medal. That person needs to be recognized for the talent that she has. And guess what? This guy, he shared with the world what kind of talent she has. He shouldn't have been fired. He should have been promoted, in my opinion. Now, this story is 10 minutes long. I'm going to cut it down really short, and we're going to go to the main parts. But to give you a little bit of context about this, this guy and his colleague, Ricardo, they work in a real estate agent, and they have been assigned to have an open house for a mini mansion. They hired a sushi chef. They had a mini bar next to it. That's how rich people do it. Everything was well prepared according to him. And once his boss, Monica, remember that name, remember that talented person's name, came into the house. She started bossing around. She was like, I don't like this. I don't like that. Even though these guys spend a lot of time working on it. And in most cases, the employees just suck it up and let the boss walk all over you because you want to save your job. You want to take care of your family so this guy sucked it up and there was one place inside that open mini mansion house that people were not allowed to go to because it was like poorly modeled and they were gonna work on it and fix things there it was the maid's bathroom another reason why they had to close the area was because the whole toilet was leaking there's a lot of problems in it as well and once they called like a plumber to come and fix it he said that it's best to leave it just turn off the water because if we start fixing this toilet now we don't know what things are we gonna find out and we might be here in the open house which is not gonna be a good look for you so, so they decided to turn off the water just leave things as, as it is they left their stuff in that toilet because there was a closet inside rich people have closets inside their bathrooms yes even the maids have a better life than us but anyways not the point things were going okay at the open house after the boss was done nagging and belittling the her employees she decided to leave and leave it to them to finish things up and this guy on the video over here he wanted to get something from his bag that was in the closet in that 
maid's bathroom and he said when the second he opened that door he almost fainted he thought there was a dead raccoon inside that toilet it was one of those situations where you had indian food or too much mexican spicy food that you had to go to toilet to redecorate the toilet and after that whoever wants to go next r.i.p unless they use a gas mask he decided to investigate the murder he went he opened the toilet and he could not believe his eyes now he said it in the perfect way possible so i'm gonna let let him explain to you exactly what he saw so we go close and i use my foot just to lift the toilet seat and I can fucking build my eyes. And you want to see the picture. Because if I don't show you the picture, you're going to be thinking I'm exaggerating. That looks like a fucking Russian submarine. Half of that thing was in the water. Half was out. I'm not fucking kidding. For one minute, I thought that it was the recreation of the Titanic. A fucking anaconda showing up from the water. We didn't know if that fucking thing was alive. If we had to take it out and give it CPR, we couldn't believe our eyes. I look at Ricardo and say, what we do? I don't know. I'm thinking we should call the fucking Guinness Records. They had to come over and fucking measure this bad boy because I haven't seen anything like that in my life. And Ricardo said, don't fucking do anything. Let's close the door and leave. I said, no, I need to know who did this because it's fucking up all the work that we did. And he said, we will never know. And I said, there is a camera, Ricardo. There is a camera in the hallway. We have to get access to that camera. I said, but I don't know. I said, call the IT guy. And Ricardo calls the IT guy. And he said, hey, there is a way to get access to the footage for or the hallway, the, the hallways that goes and connects to the casita. Say, yes, there is a camera out there. Go to the communication closet. There is a laptop in there, the passage one, two, three, four, right? And then you just move the wheel and you can see. So we go and do that. And then we rewind until I see myself around five o'clock, no, around 4.30, I will say, that I was putting stuff in there. And then we move forward there, the footage. And then guess who the fuck came to the bathroom? My boss, Monica Schatzkar. She is the one that enters the bathroom. Five minutes later, she leaves. And then the next person is me and Ricardo forcing the knife. So I could not fucking believe my eyes that my boss, the one that was bossing me around, complaining that no being professional, that we didn't have this thing, goes and take a shit in the bathroom without water, lock the door and play stupid and doesn't do anything. I was so upset that I tell Ricardo, let's call her up and say, Alex, no. Please don't call Monica. It's gonna be drama. I say no. We're gonna fucking call her up, and we're gonna ask if she knows anything about it. So I call Monica and I say, "Hey, Monica, we had a situation in the casita. What are you guys doing in there?" I said, "Well, we have everything inside the, the the bathroom because there is a closet." I said, "What's going on?" I said, "Close everything and come over here." And there's a lot of people waiting. I said, "No, come over in here because someone used a bathroom that they shouldn't." And I took a picture of this, and I'm gonna send it to the owner because this is this is crazy. She said, I'm coming over. She gets to the bathroom and she's all nervous, I can tell. And she said, oh my God, what is the smell? The smell is this. Someone fucking shit this Russian submarine in a toilet that is set out of service. And she said, oh my God, I can't believe it. I say, yes, we need to start looking for someone that is walking funny because whoever shit the fucking anaconda, it has a problem right now walking. I guarantee you, Monica, that his asshole or her asshole must be like a daisy right now and he might have pulsations because this is no normal, Monica. I like the way he just explains this whole story. Basically, he walked in and he could not believe this shit. Now, my point of view on Monica is a love and hate. I don't like her because she's rude to her employees and she thinks she is the shit. But at the same time, she is the shit. I want to shake her hand after after that seeing that picture you're gonna want to shake her hand as well and I want to see no what is the secret because I've also attempted to have the biggest shit ever like I've ate so much and hold it off for this is a true story but every time I'm trying to like have like a big juicy girthy shit just come down my butt it always like my butt pinches up and it just gets cut into half that is the most annoying thing ever you know that time you want to like have the longest shit ever you want to see how far you can go and it just fucking stops there is a secret to this but after seeing that picture i have no doubt that it, whenever monica and her husband they want to do the deed but they want to do it at the back door when he puts it in he's like am i in yet monica there's no way you're not that stretched out if that shit comes out of your butt. So they called the boss Monica. He wanted to start some drama. He wanted to confront and see how she's going to react to it. It was 
out of hate and admire as well because he was very impressed with that shit but he didn't like the boss as well he called her there confronted her and she was like oh my god who would do such a thing like that oh my god that's so disgusting who would do such a shit like that that, that that's un absolutely unacceptable playing it as if she wasn't the one doing it and while these two knowing that she's the one who did it so they were just like fucking with her and i also want to tell to monica if you're watching this video why the fuck there is no water there is no tissue maybe she really had to go if you really think about it but why the fuck would you go and take a shit over there if you take a shit in your hand and you throw it in the dumpster it'll be much better and you even if you take a shit in that toilet take it with it something with your clothes or with your top something you find outside in the open house just hide the evidence why the fuck would you leave it there did she think it is going to magically disappear and no one's going to find out about this shit no like literally shit even if i'm in a situation where i really have to go and i have an anaconda that's gonna come out of my butt i would never do it at a place where i know this it's not gonna fucking disappear by itself you have to do something about it even if i do just take it take it with your hand and just like throw it outside the window absolutely rookie move monica and she absolutely deserved to be embarrassed on this story <laughs> after these guys were trolling the boss monica she was like all right you know what you guys go handle the open house i'll take care of this they both started laughing and they went outside and once they came back to the toilet the whole submarine like he said the whole titanic recreation of titanic it was it disappeared she actually did take it and she took it somewhere god knows what she did but this guy thankfully had a picture because he was really impressed with her work and guess what he did with that picture this is this is his fault he took it too far with this but it's absolutely funny and this will go down on in history on the greatest revenge on your boss ever and then i post the picture saying in instagram that my boss left us this little gift in this open house and for that reason i got fired no shit you want to get a medal for it he, he also knows that he took it too far. He said it later in the video, but that's absolutely fucking wild. I don't know what he was thinking. It looks like he was done because he, he said that he almost quit that day on the open house after the boss started giving them shit for the decoration of the open house. Maybe he actually had enough and he decided to go out with a boom on embarrassing the hell out of the boss. Posting it on Instagram and saying... Ah, fuck. Monica's reputation is absolutely ruined. Some call her a legend, but most people are just laughing at her, especially the people close to her and the people who work for her. Definitely people high fived and they screenshotted that video, picture, whatever, and they're going to keep it in the memories for the rest of their lives. But I don't know her. I, I never met her. I don't work for her. All I want to tell Monica is thank you. Telling us that nothing is impossible. You want to shit 28 inch poop out of your asshole you can you can always do it i never thought it was possible i even looked it up on uh guinness world record i want to see like what is the longest shit ever and there's nothing to pop up i'm pretty sure guinness world record is gonna contact monica after watching this video as well now again i want to show you this picture so badly i even went on uh google and i typed can i show can i showcase feces on my youtube video am i gonna get banned YouTube directly said they have a message directly for the people sharing this, uh, wanting to share this pictures or videos of feces. They said, if you share a picture of a feces or a video of a feces, you are going to, you, there, there is no strike one, strike two, strike three. You are going to get absolutely banned. We will not only delete your account, we will delete your life. So I really don't want to. I, I, i'm not gonna share the photo with you but i'm not gonna leave you hanging like that poop inside that toilet i'm going to be reposting it on my twitter just kush the links are down below if you want to take a look at this masterpiece definitely check out my twitter the picture is there <laughs> you're welcome <laughs> but i must warn you like the guys watching this video you might turn gay it will it, it might kill your whole fantasies about women farting uh, b rainbows and butterflies. You'll be faced with the truth and you might be traumatized or most likely turned gay by after seeing that photo. This is by far one of my favorite stories that I've heard online. And I just thought I'll share this with you. And let me know in the comments down below. What was the longest shit you have ever 
taken. Do not lie. Share the truth. And we might be impressed. We might not be impressed. The comment section will let you know. Take care of yourself. I'll see you at the next one.